This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. So to answer that question, no, we're not doing Sunday Cup next. Instead, we're doing the Sierra Time Rally next because it's the next special event and we need more money. I need all the money in the world. So what is the Sierra Time Rally, you might ask? The Cerquito de la Sierra wins around the shores of a lake in the Ronda area of Spain. Try your hand at the special event on our first ever custom created long distance track. <laughs> yes, overtake. You're going to hear that a lot. We could do a practice run, but who needs practice? So a time rally is a special event in which players try to compete a lap of a given track within a time limit, which is extended each time a checkpoint is passed. So essentially it's like Sega Rally, OutRun, games like those. So every time we score past a, um, che you know, a checkpoint, we get extra time and extra points and stuff. We can increase our combo with like multipliers by passing cars, which some of the cars are literal moving chicanes, so it's it's difficult. Like it gets difficult towards the end, but in the beginning it's not so bad. All the cars have nitrous, so we use it as like a push to pass essentially. There's four different cars. All these cars are being sold, by the way, because we use them here, and I don't really want to use them again because we they're literally get like roughly 10 to 15 minutes of screen time in my opinion. So we get a Fiat, or uh, technically an Abarth 500, a Scirocco R, a Ferrari GTO, and a Nismo GTR. So first up, it's time for the Abarth 500. Yeah, you know, at first, I wasn't a fan of this track. But I actually really like it. It's not a track I'd go racing on, but like, just for driving, it's pretty fun. I do remember a good chunk of the circuit, and if not... That's okay too because I feel like the practice, basically running with the Abarth is going to be our practice. It's a slow little car. So 1 million is needed for gold, 800,000 for silver, and 600,000 for bronze. So basically, what we're looking at here is trying to overtake as many cars as possible, trying to get to the end as quickly as possible, and get as many points. You do get bonuses for like clean driving and for the biggest combo that you have. So there's 12 sections in total. As you can see, the points are counting down. Every car that's on track is really slow. This isn't a race against cars, it's a race against time, as, as the name Rally implies. There's a lot of cool cars that come out here. Overtake. So as you can see, 1.2 is the combo now, and the score is getting is going by faster because of the multiplier. Overtake. Nitrous is activated with R2 on the wheel. But like I said, I'm gonna use it mainly for like push to pass purposes. If we're like in a bad spot where overtaking is a bit difficult, I'd say, or if we're losing a bunch of time and we need to catch up. Yeah, me too, Chris. It's really nice because like, like I said, you get to see a lot of cool cars out, out here and it's like, uh, what is that? Not everybody's going to know. Oh yeah, so overtaking, jump bonuses, and there's speed traps as well. Speed traps can, give, can uh, increase your multiplier. Yeah, plus 10 combo. Nice. I've never done a run in the third and fourth ones with without crashing. Like, I feel like the Shira the Abarth and the Shiraco are really nice introductions, and then the GTO one is pretty difficult. I feel like the GTR is a lot easier because of the all-wheel drive and modern car and aero and shit. There's a speed trap. So on the nitrous. Speed bonus. Overtake. Or imagine an FIA race around here. Hey Florida fan. This was a, this was a great challenge. It's a lot of fun. We got a Demio, aka Mazda 2 if you're in the west. 
There's our Honda Fit that we were forced to buy in the beginning. Don't move. Hold your line, sir. Thank you. Oh, the qualifying's gonna be depressing? Oh, yes. Feel and tire saving all around. One of the most iconic slow cars in the series. Oh, they were called Demios in Europe as well? I thought they were just called Twos. That was just the Japanese that called them Demios. So, like, in that moment, we're slow. I want to get around them as quickly as possible, so... Technical push the best. Yo, Corona, what's up, man? Yeah, on a meme scale? I know, right? But hey, I live for the madness, though, dude. Which is why I, w I would love to see it. Oh, I see. You know, GT6 soundtrack, I'm, I'm listening to the music right now, and like... Oh, fuck, I forgot there was a speed trap here. Um... I've never really paid too much attention to it. Like, yeah, I know the Daiki Kasha songs and then the Nero Me and You song. And that's really about it. Anything else, I don't really know or remember. Overtake. Well, there, there was a Mazda 2, and then there was a Mazda 3. Mazda 4 never got made. Overtake. I, I think maybe they lost Mazda 4 somewhere. Mazda 5 is a thing, Mazda 6 is a thing. They never made a 7. I, th I think Mazda would just... Overtake. They're burning themselves out at that point. They only made six cars, bro. Isn't that crazy? And then Valve? Oh, yes. Also, if you go off course, then uh, you lose your multiplier. So it's collisions and off course. Typical Prius driver. Hold your line. Overtake. Overtake. Good job. That's a car we're going to use, too. Mario Andretti's 1949, Overtake. I believe. Hudson? That thing is really cool. 2000 GT. Overtake. Celica, where you at? There's your favorite golf. Yeah, it's a cute little horn, isn't it? Oh, you asshole. Overtake. Saw him moving his line. Dangerous driving. Fiat Grande Punto. I love Fiat Puntos. I think they're nice. Mazda Tensa, that's another car we're going to be using at some point. I'm not telling you for what championship. I have a list of all the cars I'm using for the game, by the way. Like, I might use multiple cars for, like, five race series, possibly. Like, um, World Circuit Tours, I believe. It's five races. It's kind of long, so maybe split it up with, like, two cars. But, yeah, the original GT5 idea is not really going to be used in this game, because, eh. Overtake. So we just passed the meat sale. There's a C4. Okay-ish looking car, but the interior is really ugly, in my opinion. Spec on the nitrous. Overtake. So you can see we have plenty of time. 90 seconds. I feel like that's really too much for the next sector. The Punto was your first car? Nice. Not the Elise. Oh, that's right. The 2011 Elise was in this game. It had a different front end, didn't it? Yep. Type R Civic. Overtake. What's next? Mini 05? No, it's the Countryman. Now, if I remember correctly, there's a really hard braking zone at the very end of this corner. Excellent. 
Yep, there it is. Overtake. So I wonder what the most overtakes or the combo we can get is with the Fiat. Time extended. Oof. That sucks, Rain Man. Like, I wish we had Fiat's or like, like, like the 2000s ones. Like, the Fiat Coupe would have been cool to have here. Like, I think it's a funky looking car, but I, I like funky looking cars. That was a small clip where you hit the post. Hey, you know what? That's good that that happened then, because. Yeah, dude. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. No, 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 no. Damn it. Okay. I'm pretty sure that we. I'm pretty sure that we had a big enough combo to get a bunch of bonus points. So let's just try to make it up now. You see, I still don't know the circuit completely. That's why this is like the okay. using this car is like the trial run. Like we got to be super careful when using the um, the GTO especially, but the GTR too. But like the GTO, I'm kind of fearing because snap over steer Ferrari from the 80s. Overtake, overtake. Yeah, gold is still possible, I believe, because we got up to what four. For our combo, and I think it's 10,000 for every point that you get for your combo. And plus all the extra time. So I'd say, like, to make up for the lost combo, we just stay on the nitrous button all the way around. There's an 86 behind an insight. CRZ. Brad, the Insight was a standard car. As you can tell, it's all premium cars. Pojo RZZ, not as OP as in GT Sport. Yeah, what I'm trying to bank off of, Fiends, is the extra time at the end. Which is why I'm using all my nitrous now. And we lost our combo. Which is okay. It wasn't a big combo. Yo, Marvin, how, how's it going, dude? Welcome to the third attempt at a GT6 Let's Play and the final one. Because, yeah, I actually know what I'm doing now. I'd say if we end this with 600k, we should be good with the bonuses at the end. That worked. And that didn't work. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Two hands on the fucking wheel. Stop using the goddamn horn. Shut up, Chris. Time extended. You didn't see nothing coming. Overtake. Oh, just because of the corner tricky and not totally because I had my hands off the fucking wheel honking the horn Overtake. at everybody? See, like, I don't remember all the corners. Maybe it's towards the final section, I don't really remember as much. Typical of Bart's driver. Oh, stonks. I use my left hand on the wheel like this, and then on my right hand. This is okay. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Fuck that. I'm not doing that. Come on, get him at the line. So I got 50 seconds. There we go. So that PSN thing pops up because I think it was like a scoreboard at the end. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so time remaining is times 10,000 per second. 5,000 for every overtake and then 2,000 for whatever the max combo was. Gold prize. You got a new record.
So 500 grand for the Abarth stage. We got three more stages to go. Yeah, my crew is ecstatic, even though I crashed the car and probably caused a lot of damage. But hey, who's complaining? I sure ain't. All right, so that takes care of the first stage. Let's go ahead and get our price car. We restart after every crash. <laughs> yeah, I ain't doing that. So, I read it as kind, as in like, it was too nice to you. Okay, so now, with price cards in this game, you can actually choose the color, which is pretty cool. The paint chips do return from GT5, where, you know, you can't really choose any color in the in GT Auto. You have to have a paint chip for it, but unlike GT5, there's no limits. Once you obtain the chip color, you have it permanently. So... Even though we, we're going to get rid of this car because we already used the 500 technically in our playthrough. Um, the color's still important in case we want to paint something else. So, Rosso Officina will be cool to get. Although, shit, now that I thought about it, I should have gone in black. Only because the, um, the GTO only comes in red. Damn it. Oh, well. That's all good. So now we have access to the whole track in arcade mode and practice mode and all the other modes and shit. So moving on to the second challenge, where we're getting in a much faster car, still front wheel drive, still under steering, the 2010 Volkswagen Scirocco. By the way, this is water, but because it's a big ass, like, it's a big bottle, uh, this is actually Japanese green tea, like the bottle itself, and um, because I'm lazy and I don't want to get up and get a bunch of water bottles and bring them here, I just have one. I froze this before the stream and then I just drank from this. I'm already past what you did, bro. We just started the game. <laughs> We've literally only done the tutorial, the Senna challenge, and now we're doing this. Slow as fuck. 30 Rock? I haven't watched 30 Rock in a long time. Alright, so third attempt. There are all dumb reasons why I'm attempting this again. First time I hit the wall. Second time I got hit by an 86 while trying to pass him. Semi GT6 Alpha. Oh, I felt the understeer. Had to lift. So I said before, um, the other cars are a lot faster now. There's an Abarth, there's a 300 SL. Overtake. Overtake. And I have to remember that these AI cars are terrible around here. And it's on purpose, just to make it, the challenge more difficult. It's so demoting. I like demotivating? Yes. Because it's such an ugly sound, and then the, the girl's just like, combo lost. Like... Oh, like, did you really have to do that to me? Thank you. Oh, the heartbreaker. Oh, dude. As the name implies, it's a fucking heartbreaker. Like, you do such a cool crash, and then you, you move just a smidge to the left and pick up the heartbreaker, and it's like, oh, really? So last time the golf pushed us off the track and we didn't lose our combo. He nearly did the same thing again. Oh, so we were really slow in those sections because, man, some of those cars are just really slow. Oh, it was the BRZ. I apologize. Same car. Strauss is really slow. So there's an 86 right ahead. I just passed the monkey. <laughs> Did I actually pass? Oh, the Brea, yes! That's Neville. 
if you chose the um, the alpha in um, carbon. All right, Rush. Good luck in your race today, bro. Are you? What are you running today? Is it ESGT or yeah, it's ESGT, right? Good luck with it, man. Have fun. God, dude. We're, we're gonna keep going. Fuck it. Like, we're gonna rely on, on overtaking. Yeah, Chris, we do, but... You know, I'm just gonna run hood view. Screw it. I'm more comfortable with this anyways, in this game. Like, for the races, I don't really care, but for the challenges, yeah, we'll, we'll run this view. Oh, it's a six speed. Rhino Circuit 2014. Overtakes. The Gorgini. Ooh, a Focus ST. Like, I think if we lose the combo twice, then we're probably boned, but the thing is, is that we do have all the overtakes to, to worry about. As long as we keep getting the multiplier up, then we'll be fine, I think. It's the it's the last two challenges where you kind of have to be almost perfect. I feel like the first two, you can there's a little bit of room for error. And also, I forget about the jump bonuses too. Pizza Fair Prologue memories. I just like that Focus ST because the thing looks nice, period. I just hate that, like, okay, Ford's an American company, right? But the U.S. never had any of those nice Fords until, like, 2012 onwards. Like, sure, we did have a SVT Focus. But at the same time, I still think, you know, the Focus RS was way cooler. Where do I go? There's what we got in the States. Like, if I get a Focus ST, I'd get that model because I do kind of like the catfish look in the front. I passed Mia, yes. Now we have an NSX ahead. Aston Ford. Ahead an RX7 and a CUDA. Nice. I think that's the all American racing one. Overtake. Yep, it's the AAR CUDA. Sick. Overtake. Oh, yes. Only the greatest piece of machinery up ahead. The SAM bus. Dude, the Samba bus is... When was the last time you ever saw a Samba bus like that? Just muscling his way around a Magan. What a mad lad. What a Chad. Moving history. Yeah, I guess in a way it is, because mixture of classic and modern stuff, and it's just... I just like the fact that it's just a bunch of cars that you're passing by, in general. Even if they're all, like, shit boxes. Overtake. 
Like, I know I'm nitpicking, but I kind of wish that the cars didn't have the number plates in this challenge because, I don't know, I like the cars just stock. V8 Mustang. Was that the same corner I crashed at last time and lost my first combo in the Abarth? Dude, that Audi driver is just all over the place. But they're only tuned slightly. And even then, remember that the AI is going, like, extremely slow on purpose. Yeah, it's the song they played in the stream intro. Because Are You Ready is the first lyric, and um, I thought it was really fitting for the fact that we were getting started with the game. That's a gorgeous type R. Not this time. If that up ahead is a really cool car, the light car company Rocket. Like that would be a badass car to have back in G in GT7, and then have uh, like like a one make. Mark three Supra. What's next? Three hundred ZX up ahead. Yep. Two fifty Berlinetta. And now we're kind of back to like the slow traffic cars, like the Dino and the Copen. We had our fun with faster cars for a bit. I clipped the Dino just a little bit, but um, yeah, it wasn't enough to like penalize me. We just avoided death. And losing any combo. We got a gold, by the way. Like, we passed so many cars that I'm pretty sure we have a gold at this point. The Suzetta V16. Dude, the. Who would have pictured this? A freaking Volvo. A Volvo C30 ahead of a Suzetta V16. I never. I don't think I've ever passed as many cars in this challenge before. I don't ever remember the Suzetta being here. Alright, can we zoom past the Z4? R32 up ahead. Oh my god, he's so slow. There's uh, Neville again up ahead, but yeah. Congratulations. All right, we got a gold. That was it. Oh yeah, there's also a perfect bonus too. You got a new record. Seven hundred and fifty thousand. No point of looking at the replay because I don't really care. Although when it comes to the replay, I will probably save the replay so that way we can make a thumbnail for YouTube later. So like the me the menus in GT6, like I said, are more streamlined and like they're a lot more smooth, which is nice because GT5 was like really laggy and like. It felt sluggish, where GT6, like, everything is n n a lot neater, and it just loads faster in general. So it's nice to just zoom through the menus and stuff. Rattlesnake Highway. Yeah, dude, the soundtrack in this game is, at least the menu is incredible. We're getting blue, because white, it's white. We can literally, like, get, like, super white, too, from a Toyota and just, you know, have it. Whatever. Do 
So, challenge number three. It's time for the Ferrari GTO. I... My second favorite Ferrari of all time. Now, I believe this time, the points that are required for a win are a lot more. Nope, it's still a million. But I think because the car is a lot faster, there's a, there's less cars that we can actually pass, if I'm not mistaken. So as usual, let's turn off the TCS and get going. Okay, we missed out. We barely missed out. I made a lot of mistakes in in that attempt, so we try again. Now we now we try to go for a perfect run. So yes, while this is the easiest Gran Turismo, these challenges are pretty tricky. Berlinetta ahead. Overtake. Hopefully this time we don't get killed again. Or we don't kill ourselves and then have somebody else hit us and do even more damage. That's the problem, Sob. Although, fortunately, we do have the Red Bull Standard Championship that we can money grind if we really need to. But that's why I'm trying to get these out the way so I can get all the money in the beginning and buy a bunch of dumb cars and have fun. Another speed trap. Let's go. Okay, we're doing much better this time around because the GTR, the R34 behind me was right here. Overtake. That was a kind of a close call. Like, I was really threading the needle getting around the Lancer. FGC isn't required. You know what the problem is? Okay, look. Here's the problem that I had with. Here's another problem I had with this game. I'm gonna spoil this right now. There is no Formula Gran Turismo Championship, which sucks because I like that car. So in GT5, it was required for 100%, but the car was hidden behind the used car lot because it was standard, and it was super rare. But then, in this game, it's just part of the overall dealership. It's been made semi-premium, so it's been updated. Textures and the steering wheel looks more authentic. It's cheap ish it's like two million you have all these new colors for it so pd we're clearly going to make that into a premium core maybe at some point but then you don't even have a championship for it it's like a slap in the face in my opinion it's just a weird direction I cranked the steering wheel so much under braking just to scrub speed. I was that afraid of, of losing our combo. No, 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 we're losing our combo. We're losing our combo. Oh, no, we just saved it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, game. That could be, like, the, the moment we got the gold, even if we lose our combo next time. Like, that little bit could save us at the end. That legit was some scary shit. Yeah, me too, Chris. Like, I thought we were done for.
Now, here's the thing. I feel like having some of the AI cars in front of us is a good thing because it forces me to slow down and take my time. Whereas, like, when I've opened road ahead, I'm just like, all right, we go. So, M4 ahead. I I don't trust him. That's why I backed off. Back on the button. We use half our nitrous for half the course, which is pretty good, I'd say. There's a Mira ahead of us. Yeah, it is. It's like, exercise your chemistry. It goes something like that. Wait, is that a thing, Chris? I legit didn't mess with the soundtrack, remember? I only adjusted the volume, so that way the bot wouldn't uh, detect it. I, I guess we'll check out the jukebox later. Like, I know Soul on Display, and I think the GT5 redemption, r rendition of Moon Over the Castle are hidden. Until you get, I think, the Super License? I'm not sure on that, but... I'm not sure if some of the songs, like, you have to activate them. There might be a couple, actually. We'll, we'll activate most of them. After the Sierra Time Rally is done, we'll take a look at the jukebox while we wait. Obviously, like, during the intermission for um, the next part of the segment. Ooh, a Mark 1 GT40. Sick. We might have seen it in the previous attempt, but because I was so focused on passing people, I wasn't paying attention to any cars. We got on the nitrous really quickly and got some wheel spin. Let's get around the GTR ASAP. Hello, Rhino. There you are. Although not quite Rhino, but still, it's a Viper. Rhino, get out the way, please. Thank you. I remember that jump was really tricky last time. Oh, the GT5 Prologue menu music? Dude. I've only played GT5 Prologue like once and it was the Japanese version. There's no difference in version by the way, I just managed to find it really cheap in um... in what's it called? Um... Uh... like some Japanese game store. So anyways, um... I was sitting there listening to some of the music I was like, damn, this menu music is awesome. Why didn't they ever come back to GT5? We're gonna have to play- we're gonna play all the Prologue games and stuff eventually. We use all of our nitrous. We have no more nitrous left. Don't, don't squeeze me, please. B12 and 10, whatever, 10, 100,000 or 1 million, I can't read that RPM. I mean, I could read it, but I can't really focus too much. Once there was commas, then I, I could have easily read that. Can you guys tell I'm taking it super easy now? Like, I don't want to take any unnecessary risk. This could be a perfect run. I don't trust that R8. We go around the Mustang. There's the fireworks that I didn't see last time because I was too focused on the car ahead. Oh, God. 
Okay, we cleared him. Ooh, Alexis LFA. All right, we got it. We're done. Gold. Oh, okay. Thank God. Congratulations. Whew. That was a perfect run. Oh man, thankfully we don't have to do that again. Although we got to do the GTR in one now. That's World gonna be fun. Prize. You got a new record. So we got like 700k from getting silver and bronze. Now we get 800k, so it's around 1.5 million. I want to say. I can't math. Hey, it's the, it's the GTPSP song. In the previous menu. It's taking a while to load, but why do we know that? Well, uh, we're working on something. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, challenge three complete. Challenge four is upon us, and it will be the final of the Sierra Time Rally challenges. And uh, probably the craziest and maybe the hardest one. Now, again, I believe the GTO only comes in red, which is unfortunate that we chose red for the... Yep. What that we chose red for the Abarth, because we could have had a different paint color. Although there wasn't really much variety, in all honesty. All right, time for the fourth and final challenge in our Nismo GTR. So, as the name implies, tuned by Nismo. So it has more power and stuff and more oomph, but yeah. Also, this intro song is really cool for the Sierra Time Rally. It slaps. Yeah, that's from the east to the west. Or from the east. I'm not sure what exactly what it's called. So, 1.2 million is required for this uh, gold run. The car is easier to drive than the GTO, for sure, because all-wheel drive, more modern, more aero. But the rain is going to play a factor into this one. It starts raining, I think, like, after a quarter distance. Get ready. Three, two, one. Cool to know. Thank you, Fiends. It's a lot of cash. That's a dumb amount of money. So I want to say, okay, 300 SL. So it looks like it's a mix bag between slow cars and fast cars. Like there was kind of a theme going on with every race, but it seems like this is just a mix of everything we've gone through so far into one. Overtake. Also, is this Aurora by Camo and Cricket? Oh my. It is. No, it's not. It's, um, I remember by Culture Shock, I think it is. The song slaps too. I was trying to get around the GT40, but he cut us off. You remember what, Chris? I'm kidding. Great song. You remember this track now. Oh yeah, that's right. The R32 has like a uh, custom wing in this uh, version for some reason. There's the rain. I turn off the windshield wipers manually. So Corvette, another AAR Cuda. Short story time, let's go. 
Although I'm probably not going to read it because I want a perfect run on this one, especially. Overtake. One hour Suzuka, okay. Right? Oh, there's going to be a whole group of cars here to overtake. Can we zoom past them? I think we can. I was a bit risky, but worth it. Oh, look, there's Ryosuke. And that weird Isuzu concept. Weather progression up. <laughs> Yo, Sim Racer MX. Bienvenidos a todos. What's up, everybody? Hi. Hi from Sim Racer Stream. Yo hablo español, pero no mucho. En este canal solo hablamos inglés porque mi español es horrible. But hi, everybody. Welcome from the stream, from Sim Racer MX stream. My name is Elmer, aka The Moving Chicane. I do a lot of like sim racing content, so like Gran Turismo Sport, iRacing do like arcade games like Need for Speed and Burnout. So if you like that kind of stuff, hit the follow button. If not, thanks for supporting uh, my friend Sim Racer MX because he's a cool dude. Also, twitch.tv forward slash Sim Racer MX if you guys are looking for more uh, Spanish speaking content because he's a great Sim Racer and funny. And uh, it's good to go to his streams and watch and chat because I get to actually practice uh, typing in Spanish and writing in Spanish because I'm terrible at that stuff. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, I can really start to feel the understeer in this. We're doing good so far. He quick is that he needed rain tires. Time Obviously, Marvin, you're a naughty boy. Chris, bad, shame on you for tricking everybody. Ooh, fucking hell. Okay, so I wonder if the Skylines are all tuned up be to match the Nismo GTR, like... Because ours is technically an, a tuner model, so they're they're all tuner models just to be matching, I guess. Saludos. Oh fuck! <laughs> How he avoided death. The rain's getting worse, by the way, and I can bear the visibility's getting even worse as well. Uh, hello? Oh, dude, the GTR is flying! Look at him go! Okay, so the GTR is like the only AI that I can tell so far that's actually pushing. Yeah, go around the outside. Smart move, dude. You did custom BLP for that event? Okay. Almost done with this one. I think we got a gold at this point. In terms, or maybe not the time, but at least the combo should help us out. No, 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 no. Yep. Combo we lost our combo. That's that's our perfect run done, but I think we've had enough overtakes, possibly, and a big enough combo to perhaps get a gold. Time Nearly had a perfect run. Overtake. Being behind the GTR did not help us at all. 
See, that was a really risky move, but we had to do it. Like, we absolutely had to make that overtake. There was just no other way. That was worth it, in my opinion, because I didn't want to be behind the, the, the challenger for too long. We have to win this by getting the, the most amount of time left over. Fuck, man. Like, I might, I might just be shooting myself in the foot at this point, but... That's the thing. Fuck, get out of the way! We had such a good run going, and then I fuck it all up. Best mode in all of GTA, Mike. Overtake. The rain is gone, at least. No, don't close the door. Thank you. Overtake. I'm just hoping I did enough to barely squeeze in the gold. The way that California was taking the line was pretty deceiving. Buenas tardes con este juego. Yep. So, uh, in, in English, he said good memories with this game. Um, yeah, me gusta jugar los juegos, vie uh, los juegos viejos a veces. Basically, I just said I like to play some of the older games sometimes. They're fun to play. Can we get the charger at the end? Nope. <sighs> Fuck. I, yeah, it's pretty bad, Chris. Dude! The fucking Pagani in the wall. Oh, we just did enough. Yes. Oh, God. Okay. Good. Good. 1.5 million. 10 million. He tried to murder my crew, but my crew is not touchable, bro. Not at all. Nope. Well, shit. That took us an hour. <laughs> Sierra time really took us a while. So, replay has been saved, and let's go claim our prize of uh, another G another free car, the GTR. But they're all being sold, so who cares? You math wrong. Well, you were close anyways. You're good. Okay, so now, what color do we choose is the question. I think there's only like white, silver, black, and red. Uh... gray we already have red and black i mean it's a dark color you can't really do much okay well that is the end of all the special events for now there's two more that we have to unlock the goodwood festival of speed yo what's up ethan the goodwood festival of speed is one we have to unlock and then there's another one which we will get into later if you saw the intro of this entire game but that is it for the special events, and so we will be taking on the Novice series next.